During the years of independence, Kazakhstan has made a great job to promote the country's image abroad. And the most powerful weapon in the promotion is the victories and achievements of Kazakhstani sports people in the world arena. We know these winners only by their fascinating results, but we don't know anything about their way to the top of the sports world. For example, what kind of challenges they were facing and what they had to overcome in order to be the best. Our program will uncover the other side of success of people who represent Kazakhstan in the world arena. The Dakar Rally is an annual professional rally marathon, whose participants are professionals as well as amateurs, whereas the percentage of amateurs is 80%. Despite its name, it is rather a race for survival than traditional rally, because of the much more complicated road that the participants must pass and because of the cars they are using. The pilots are driving the real SUVs, but not modified sedans, as in the usual rally. The most competitive stages are the dunes, mud and rocks. The race participants can pass during the day and vary from several to hundred kilometers. Today we will tell you about the person who was dreaming to participate and win the legendary Dakar rally since his early years. Сегодня нас воспринимают в автомобильной федерации мировой как We have become a great team. We are going in all categories. Trucks, cars, T2, T1. We keep everything and we do win. People of Kazakhstan on the Dakar races are not just participating but showing good results. This is our presidential club. Go Astana! Go Kazakhstan! The only one Kazakhstani pilot who made it to participate in the Dakar represents the Astana team. His name is Artur Davichus and he shares his own story of success and his long way of becoming a participant of the most famous and difficult rally of all time. All my childhood I remember being in sport most of the time. Since I was six my parents were taking me to different sports clubs. I went swimming for a little bit and then went wrestling for eight years. My coach was our beloved Talgat Zafaric. I'm so grateful to him that he has made real men from young boys who didn't know what to do in life. He didn't let us choose the wrong road in life. After that, Artur made one of the main choices in his life, the choice that determined his whole destiny. I kept on visiting the class of automobile lovers at the House of Pioneers, where we were driving an old truck Gas 52. One day we would fix it and we would drive the other day. Everything started for me there. For me it was something unusual, but I always knew he loves cars. He was even hiding them under his pillow. He was just obsessed with them. For every boy, the Dakar rally is a dream. And it's great when this dream comes true. The history of any famous athlete is not only a long list of won tournaments and the sound of festive fanfares. The way that the person passes in order to win and to make his dream into reality starts from the very young childhood. The foundation of his triumph has been created by Arthur himself. I got into one of our Kazakhstani crews as a navigator. I was traveling with them for a little bit and that was the time I decided to collect my own car. I brought an old sports car. It was really old. I created a car repair shop where I was collecting and improving this car. And by the way, it was the same car I drove on several Russian trophy raids and also in Finland. Of course, I was always dreaming about those huge trucks. Now I know that if you want something, I mean, if you really want something, you will always find a way to get it. Dakar is a dream, but if I would have left it, I would still be living, dreaming about it. And his dream did come true. In 2012, Artur Ardavichus not only participated, 
in Dakar, but he came third in the overall standings among trucks. This victory, without exaggeration, was historical and brought Kazakhstan on the podium in the world-famous rally. People from all over the world started to recognize the Astana team and Kazakhstan. Before the Dakar, I had participated in the Silkway twice and was preparing for the Dakar. I was a part of the Russian crew along with Andrei Karginev and after that I went under the Astana brand to the Dakar rally in 2011. The success of the athlete did not remain unnoticed. The press started to write more about Artu and he has become an image of the Kazakh motorsport. Really good result. Good driver and very good navigator. So right now... Artur did something that they got to Russia... The fact they won is really amazing, so as watching the Balite sweeping across the desert with the flag of Kazakhstan on it, I saw this car. I sat there as a sportsman and I understand that it is an honor. Each member of the Astana team is a worthy sportsman who can represent the national sports image at the highest international level. Daniel Andreev is also a part of the Astana team. His rising hope, Lubov Andreeva, is a famous member of the Formula 3 racing team. This girl represents Kazakhstan and shows excellent results at the competitions and tournaments. Artur, I want to thank you from all our team for noticing Luba, inviting her to the club, helping and supporting her. Artur Ardavichus created Astana Motors team. He is participating in the Dakar circuit racing and in formula as our pilot. He is promoting a brand of Astana. In autosport, they are recognizable people. The Dakar Rally has a magical power of making you want to come back and participate again and again. And if a person has participated in it once, he is unable to stop. Every year, despite all the hardships, all the stress and danger, the pilots from around the world are going to conquer the Dakar. Arthur did not escape this fate and returned to the race in 2013. What последние секунды жизни? These are the last seconds of an automobile's life. It served us really well, but it is important to experience the bitterness of defeat. It is necessary. It is sport. It is Dakar. You have to be stronger. In this rally, the team of Artur Ardavichus was ready to fight till the end. But the fatal role played by the technical factor, the so-called exhaustion of iron. The worst thing is when the car breaks down. It feels like your horse is slowly dying. Can you imagine that feeling? It needs to be started again and again, and when you realize your car starts to run out of stream, but the distance is still very long, it's a disaster. I can feel the car, and I understand when it won't make it to the finish, and it is always hard to admit you won't win and there's nothing you can do about it. But Arthur did not despair. He took the next attempt to conquer the Dakar in 2014, and this time the attempt was successful. Even though he did not make it to the prize place, Ardavichus successfully finished the hardest rally marathon. Anyone who can make it to the final of the Dakar can consider himself as the winner. They stormed the dunes, and the truck has not held up to the dunes. I did not have enough experience. Just put the foot off the gas, 
and pressed again. I couldn't control the truck anymore because when you push the gas again, the engine needs the momentum and the dynamics. There was not enough dynamics and the dunes were too high. The car pulled to the side and our truck started to flip over from the big dune until we got into the pit. After that, your foot is automatically off the gas. Mark Thatcher, the son of British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, almost lost in the desert with his co-driver and a mechanic. They were lost for six days, but luckily all of them were safe and sound. The Kazakhstani team had difficulties too. On the second stage of the Dakar Rally Marathon 2014, the crew of Baojan Isabayev and Gabdullah Ashimov went out of the race. During the race in Argentina, on the road from San Luis to San Rafael, their truck caught fire. That destroyed almost the entire car. Fortunately, the drivers themselves were not affected. Each racer must be very careful, because there's no guarantee of safety in the Dakar. Бескрайние красивые горы Чили, где есть все кроме жизни. Incredibly beautiful mountains of Chile have everything but life. Прогорел клапан около турбины. The valve was burned near the turbine, and all the fire went to the engine side. Когда мы это почувствовали, остановились, уже был огонь, потушили, вроде все закрыли, подумали, что это перегрев турбины. When we felt it, we stopped, but there was fire already, so we had to wait for someone on the road to help us. Besides the Dakar, Arthur is involved in several rallies. He is participating at every competition with his team, being always the center of attention for the history and life of our country. Traditionally, we cook our national dish. Today, we are making Beshbarma. In South America, in Africa, wherever we are, at every competition, we have a special day when we cook. We call it the Kazakh evening. We call all of our partners, organizers, friends, who are multiplying from year to year in every continent. They are coming to us, and they know they are coming to Kazakhstan. There's a rule, it says, people for people. We are trying to spread an image of Kazakhstan around the world. The teasing smell of the Kazakh sorpa is over Argentina's fields, Chilean roads, and in the African savanna. Despite the difficulties that Ardavichus overcomes every Dakar, he is not going to quit this sport. Arthur has already done so much for it and feels the weight of responsibility. He is the only Kazakhstani participant in the category of trucks in the Dakar rally, and the world patriotism for him is not just a word. Today, Nowadays, the Astana team is known as a good, proven team. People know that this team is from Kazakhstan, and now people from different countries know about our country. As long as we have patriots of their country, like Artur and his crew, we don't have to worry about the positive image of Kazakhstan. Because in every famous race of the world, whether it is in the Atacama Desert Sands, or the Sahara, or Siberian Steppes, there will always be a car carrying the flag of Kazakhstan. We will make it. Dakar will be ours.